Nassim Nicholas Taleb is here. He is an applied statistician and essayist. He specializes in the problems of uncertainty. His 2001 book, Fooled by Randomness, argued that success is usually the result of luck rather than skill. His new book is called The Black Swan, The Impact of the Highly Improbable. I am pleased to have him here at this table to tell us what it all means. Welcome. Thank you. What is the point of the black swan? Just for the record. Yes. I never knew until I read your book yes. that black swans existed. I thought all <laughs> swans were white. Yeah, well, that's, that, that's the story. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, uh, the, you know, for the discovery of Australia, right. you had no reasons to believe that swans could be of any other color than right. white. Because you've never seen England? Exactly. So it was a surprise. But my, my black swan doesn't have feathers. My yeah. black swan is a different kind of surprise. It is? My black swan is, number one, a surprise. Two, it's very consequential, extremely consequential, you see. Mm -hmm. Unlike the, the, the bird, you see. Mm -hmm. It carries massive consequences. Think of the first war, the Great War. Right. Think of uh, Google, the Internet, right. uh, penicillin, the inventions. Uh, These the, were all the, black swans. They were all black swans. There was nothing to indicate they were coming. Nothing to indicate they were coming. Before. Right. Before the fact, nothing to indicate. And nobody was planning for them. Exactly. But that's, that's the number three. Before the fact, they're unpredictable. After the fact, retrospectively, oh, of course, they're so clearly uh, predictable. We have even disciplines to analyze what happened. Just like, look at the Great War. Every single history book explains, to, explains why it happened. All right? These are not the reasons, because the same, you know, they, they tell you there was tension between, you, between England on one hand and um, Austria and Germany on the other, okay? There were a lot of tensions that led to no war. So how could that, that be the cause of war? We had a lot of tension in history that lead to big wars. So the, the, you look at a consequence, you look at an event and look at what happened before, and you often link it to the... Okay, let's take yes. an easy example, Google. What, what, yes. what led to Google? We don't know. We'll never know what led to the event. Or, it wasn't it the need to have a search engine. I mean, the, the, we had Alta Vista. Right. <laughs> you see, we had a lot of, you know, it was very unpredictable. After the fact, of course, we always analyze to find causes. So my, 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 I mean, half my book is about what I call the narrative fallacy. Is just, you know, as, as with the Great War. Right. After the fact, we go and find the causes and effectively, you know, I can ascertain that they're never the causes. Mm -hmm. We like we don't like to accept the fact that we live in a world that we don't understand, with events that happen all the time that lay really outside the path of our imagination. We don't want to accept it, so we concoct, we invent stories to convince ourselves that we understand the world. You've gotten and received a fair yes. amount of attention. Malcolm yes. Gladwell wrote a profile of you for the New Yorker, correct? Yeah, years ago. Yes. Years ago, I mean, 2000, 2002, something yeah, like that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Why should we believe you? What do you know that we don't know? I don't know. That's, that's exactly what I write. I, I, I'm not, what, what I'm taking here is a very simple... There's no uh, mathematical argument. model you've created. I'm not, not at all. I'm just showing weaknesses, all right, in some inferential methods and weaknesses in some disciplines, okay, by showing that effectively they can't predict. Let me give you, uh, uh, let me tell you, for example, there are a lot of disciplines, okay, uh, economics, political science, in which the expert is no expert, okay? Mm. I'm just, I'm, I, and I think Except that the retro. reason, sorry? Except in retrospect. At retrospect. And, and you can show that they don't have more predictive power than cab drivers. So what I'm, uh, here I'm showing that effectively we live in a world we don't understand. And I'm separating domains in which the black swan is consequential from domains in which the black swan is not consequential. And so this is a map, okay, showing the area that we don't fully understand and a recommendation to not take the knowledge seriously and the experts seriously in these areas. Because things will happen. Be no, because you can't rely on them. You take a lot more risk. If you listen to an economist, you, you may, you know, invest or do something, you know, foolish listening to them, all right? But if you listen to a cab driver, you're not going to do anything, you see? Mm -hmm. and, and we often listen to people for therapy. So this is, you know, where uh, uh, my, my, uh, my, uh, my book sets, you see, mm -hmm the policy of what to do in a world you don't understand. What are the things you don't understand? That's all I'm saying. Most people misinterpret me. I'm not trying to predict rare events. Well, I would I'm think that most yes. people are buying your book because here's, my, here's what would be an automatic kind of response. He's explained something about how these black swans happen. And if we under read this book, 
we'll know what a black swan is and we'll know and so therefore maybe we'll be able to plan for the next one. Well, that's exactly what my book is not about. I know, <laughs> yeah, I know. No. But that would be exactly, the conventional yes. wisdom. I've had for about the last 10 years, 15 years, people telling me, can you give me a list of the 10 next black swans? Exactly. If you're that's so good, point. why can't exactly. you, record, you know, tell me the next black swan? And, and my whole point is figure out which, what areas are what I call the soft areas. Right. What areas, okay, uh, uh, are difficult, you know, to understand. Okay, well, tell me what they are. Well, uh, number one, the climate, for right. example, for one thing. We can predict short-term weather, but our knowledge degrades very quickly right, with, with time, as you right. extend in right. time. So 10 years from now, we don't know what's going to happen. Tomorrow morning, maybe, all right? right. Uh, economic life, socioeconomic yeah. life, uh, businesses, all right, business success, wars. Okay, we're very good at predicting in simple domains, like uh, pillaging. You know that if you, you have tribes, one, mm -hmm. you know, and mm -hmm. you have tribes, two tribes, uh, one here, one there. Uh, one tribe wants to attack, okay? The one that attacks usually has very good chances of winning because, you know, we sort of have a good sense of the balance of power mm -hmm. and the probability of success, okay? Mm -hmm. So in a very simple domain, like, okay, but and wars is far more complicated, you see? We're not good at understanding outcome of wars. Wait, we're not, begin we're not, we're not good at understanding wars are likely to happen or both. once they've happened, how they're going to turn out? Both, both. We can't predict the, the, the onset of wars, and, and when wars happen, we don't, we don't understand the outcome, and the link between action and consequence, okay? Aren't most there. wars fought over power and geography? Well, after the fact, you know, but a lot of wars are fought over silly things, right. okay? And then you invent, of course, you can say power, religion, ge find, find what was... The, the motive, okay, after the fact, but wars are fought because we like to fight wars, and we and we used to be good at it, okay. We're no longer good at it so, because you, you can you can win actually wars, but yeah. and, and and not get much out of it, you see. And then also the duration of wars is the duration, okay, is extremely unpredictable in 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 a, in a modern uh, environment. So you, the world is becoming more and more difficult to understand. 